But first, you're about to see a video which has sparked a police investigation, and when you see it, you'll understand why. Because as Rowan Wen reports, the teenagers in the video have been terrorising their community and filming themselves while they're doing it. I think it's disgusting. I think these are feral thugs. What you are watching is real. It's video filmed by the very youths you're seeing on the screen. I think it's a sign that the community is failing. This footage is from a home movie currently being sold on DVD by students at Werribee Secondary College in Victoria. They're advertising it on the web and charging $5 per copy. I won't tell you the name of the film other than to say it's the most offensive four-letter word in the English language. The DVD cover claims the movie is rated R, but in fact, the Office of Film and Literature Classification has never heard of it. The film is styled along the lines of those American jackass movies, where the participants film themselves doing stunts and playing pranks. But the youths on this DVD take it to a frightening level. The fact that it's premeditated, it's like they've made a sport out of it. John Granger made the local papers earlier this year when his taxi was attacked by a gang of youths. On the DVD, we find out exactly who those youths were. You see, the filmmakers are so proud of their anti-social behaviour they included the newspaper clipping in the DVD and then ran the vision of themselves pelting the cab with eggs. Bang, taxi comes in and they've just erupted. The film then goes on to show the youth gang taunting locals who have clearly spent some time at the pub before throwing an egg in the face of one of the men. The filmmakers have even provided graphics to help viewers follow the attack. Another sequence in the DVD shows a party at what appears to be a home that will shortly be demolished. Some of the youths decide to start the demolition early. Downstairs, a young girl kicks out a window. Not surprisingly, Glass cuts her leg. And then the police arrive. The party guests reluctantly move on, but have a look at the way they behave as they're going. It's absolutely uh, deplorable. The police association's Paul Mullet says the behaviour of the youth gang is all too common these days. Youths, particularly young youths, are uh, very much a protected uh, species. As the DVD plays on, the boys' behaviour becomes more and more reckless. Here, they film themselves making a chlorine bomb. Yeah, it is good. The youth gang then turns on the homeless. Here, they're seen dropping a flare on a homeless man who was sleeping at the bottom of this stairwell. Not satisfied, after a time they come back and do it again. Here are guys who are really insecure. They're picking on people who are less powerful than themselves. They can't do it on their own. So, like animals, they've got to do it in a pack. Psychologist Evelyn Field says this sickening behaviour shows the boys, who we know are in years 10 and 11, have no boundaries and no sense of right or wrong. And it's almost as though they've got no conscience. They don't realise that this stuff is just hor horrific. By far the most disturbing sequence on this DVD involves the disgraceful mistreatment of a young girl. Now, we've been contacted by that young girl's family, who's asked us not to detail what happened. And with the girl's interests in mind, we've agreed not to. We've also agreed to provide a copy of the DVD to the police who wish to investigate. It's just plain disgusting. And I hope their parents are absolutely ashamed of them. And it's clear the boys want to be known for what they've done. Not only did they film it and are selling it, but they also put their real names in the DVD credits. So what do the parents think? Well, I spoke to the mothers of the two boys who produced this film. One of them said she thought it was just a bit of fun with the boys recording their lives in this area. As for the attacks on the taxi driver, the homeless person, and that sickening vision with the young girl, well, both mothers said they were aware of it, but that they didn't approve. I feel that the whole community has failed these kids and unfortunately the whole community will pay the price when they become adults because I can't see them changing. They're thugs in training. And tomorrow morning police will take possession of that DVD and we'll let you know what happens with that.